Yo, what's up guys? Uh, it's your boy Undead Arts here, and today I'm gonna be uh, teaching you how to make an HDRI Lightroom in Blender. Uh, yeah, I don't know, you know, why I'm using Blender, but I figured, you know, it's a, it's a program that's becoming more accepted, stuff like that. Alright, um, to get started with the store, I already have a, uh, a text with material set up on it now. Since I have no idea how to make materials, I'm not going to be able to help you out there, but since I do know how to make light, I will be able to uh, help you out there. First, what you want to do is and make sure it, if, if you're not already on Cycles Render, go up here to the little tab that it should be on Blender Render. Click on it, select Cycles Render. Alright, next, what you want to do is uh, you should start on this. Go to this tab right here, it's called the World tab, it may be different in different versions of Blender, but yeah, you should uh, be able to find it, uh, no problem. Alright, next you can do is uh, click this little button that says No, see where it says uh, Color right here? Click on that little dot right there towards the end, select Weight Texture. What you want to do is uh, set the scale to 0.5. The distortion to I don't know, maybe 25. The detail scale to 15. Or whatever. I'm going to do it for 3. And the detail to 16, I guess. And there you go. That's basically. Uh, how to create an HDRI Lightroom and Blender. Now your yours is not gonna look like mine when you start out because you don't have have a uh, transparency check on it. You, uh, you know you're just starting out with um, Blender and you have just you know created the text and stuff. Uh, so, but if you think, if yours looks like this, like, you can see the HDRI and stuff, what you want to do is go to, uh, custom, well, not custom properties, ray visibility, and uncheck camera, and you, you won't, uh, be able to see it. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically a quick tutorial on how to create an HDRI in Blender.